for the test, it's probably interchangeable. Yeah. So, but to Skinner, it wasn't. I'm okay with knowing more. Okay. The more you know. Are we recording? Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Great. Rate, not great, rate, great, rate, great, rate, rate, a great rate. <laughs> um, that's not a bank loan. Um, well, it could be, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about behavior, folks, right? It's a ratio count per observation time. So we talked about frequency already. Go look at that. They're often used interchangeably. That raises this is the hair on the back of my neck to say that because I genuinely believe there's a difference. Uh, but um, let's just make it really simple. How often did behavior occur over a period of time? Do the math. Right? So if I engaged in 15 behaviors over 15 minutes, then one to one, right? So it's one, a, a, a behavior of one, rate of one, kind of weird, right? Um, so you're just looking at a response rate. How often does a behavior occur over time? This was established and this came about, uh, this is how Skinner actually measured behavior with his rats and pigeons and things. And that's, he thought that rate was a very important procedure because you could plot it on a graph and you could see the steepness of a line because he was using a cumulative recorder. Right? So using that cumulative recorder, you can see how fast that rate of responding was. Was it going up? Was it going down? It allows you to measure change over time. The change in the rate is measured using acceleration. So you 